hello everyone in the previous video we learned that what is wheat and why we use this wheat so today in this video we are going to install this wheat into the laravel 9 application which is using the bootstrap so basically we are going to compile our css and js file into our uh, simple application so we are not going to do this in the spa this is for bootstrap so we are going to use the bootstrap 5 so now let's go here and there are two articles which is used to install the bootstrap 5 with the wheat right so you can follow these both ones so i will tell you that what's not uh, one step is missing from this blog right so i will tell you in a minute when i'm going to complete these steps so for very first step is you need to install your project so in our case we installed our project in the previous video right okay what's next then we are going to install the laravel ui package so then question arises that why we are using laravel ui package and what is this laravel ui package so basically laravel ui package is used for basic authentication and we already know that when we install this laravel ui package it's required to compile our files so i'm going to compile these files using uh, wheat not mix so how you can compile your file using wheat so first i'm going to install this composer require laravel ui so it's uh, you can pull this from this uh, github repository by typing this laravel ui so it will quickly install into your application and then you need to scaffold your assets so there are multiple ways you can scaffolding the scaffold, scaffold this into your view app uh, into view into react uh, stuff like that but we are going to do this in the boot step and we also need this uh, basic authentication like login and register so that's why i'm going to add this auth flag so if you don't need this one so you can run this php artisan ui boot step so you can skip this auth flag here right so after this i'm going to execute this uh, command and then we need to run this npm install again okay and why we need this again because let me hit this command and then i will tell you in a minute okay so here you need to type php artisan ui bootstrap okay and then you need to type uh, auth okay uh, ui bootstrap auth okay that's enter and then you need to run the npm install and then you need to add to uh, bootstrap into your config file so here it's going to install this uh, it's going to basically scaffold our css uh, uh, our other files like uh, login page register page and stuff like that right so it's added into our application so let me go to the application i open this into this uh, vs code let's go to this views and this views directory contain this auth directory which contain the login register and stuff like that okay and then let's uh, go here and then run this npm install why i'm doing this again because we already run this when we uh, installed our project we run this npm install so why i'm doing this twice time because when we install this laravel ui package so some of uh, packages are required to npm install it again so it's going to install these packages so that's why we are doing this again okay so now let's uh, come to this uh, v.config.js file so now your question is that this is not included uh, included in our laravel project but uh, in the laravel 9 it's not included but uh, i'm not sure what's the version it's 9.18 or 9.19 it's added in the laravel 9 so uh, if you go to your project let me close this out and yes webpack dot mix dot js file uh, weird stuff why it's added this uh, mix dot js okay let me open this out and uh, yes if i go here v dot config dot js file so it's containing this twice file so you don't need to take care about this uh, webpack dot mix file so why it's added this because i think i run this uh, no no it's added in the when you install this laravel 9 so it's added there okay so we are going to uh, take around this uh, v.config.js file so by default it's behave like this so what it's going 
So here it's going to add the configuration, also adding the Laravel V2 plugin. And then this one is used for compiling our CSS and JS files. And this refresh property is uh, used to refresh our application. So when we press Control plus F S means save our file, this uh, config file. So it's going to refresh our application, right? So let me go there and uh, yes, it's uh, going to complete. And yes, it's completed. And here I need to add add this here so before this i'm going to uh, copy this out so now let's uh, go to your project and here you need to find your this file so this would be a app.js so here you need to add this out okay save this one oh no i don't need to add this here sorry guys you need to go to your web uh, white dot config file and here after this plugin array you need to add this out here so what we are going to add this we are going to basically add the bootstrap because we are loading this now differently and then you need to add this so at the top so you can also view it from here or you can add add it as constant okay so now this will uh, if you if you don't add uh, not uh, going to add this out so it's going to throw an error that this path require is not defined so just import this or add a constant at the top okay so now next step you need to update this bootstrap js file because it's going to throw an error but it's going to still going to work so i'm going to skip this out i'm going to show that what's the error and how to fix this out and then you need to go to your uh, app.js file and add this so uh, instead of this so bootstrap because it's already contained that uh, bootstrap line okay it's added and here you need to paste this out so let's uh, save this one so um, for now it's not going to use this it's going to use these two files basically we are importing our app.css file and bootstrap file okay so now let's save this one and uh, let's go here our steps uh, in the laravel mix we are going to compile this like uh, we are adding this mix or uh, here we use this asset method and we are importing our uh, uh, app.css and app.js files uh, in the header right but in the laravel mix you don't need to do this we need to add this like this but uh, if you want to add them twice at once so you can add this uh, by passing the comma here and then you need to add the second one so let me go to the documentation what i'm going to or i'm explaining to you so let's go down and here this one is used for you need to add an array into your app dot uh, let me go to the layout uh, resources which comes with the default to uh, ui authentication app.js so this contain this app.js so which are our compiled files i'm going to skip this um, i'm going to comment them out because i'm going to use this so uh, weed configuration not this app.css so here i have added this so let's save this one and one more step is remaining so you need to compile this file using npm run build so you can run this through npm run dev so which is used for development purposes but if you want to uh, run this uh, for your production so you can run this uh, uh, for build okay npm run build and then it's going to uh, create a folder inside this public directory it basically it's going to create a build directory into this public directory and then it's going to add uh, the public uh, add the compiled file so let's so uh, it will take some time so i'm going to pause this video and coming back okay npm run build is successfully completed and it's uh, added these files so now let's uh, take eye on this uh, public directory this contain a build file build directory and this contain a asset and this asset contains some files right so now let's uh, go here and uh, let me we added this uh, here this thing right so which we are going to basically add these compiled files so now i'm going to run this my server php artisan serve and let me go to my application localhost to 8000 okay okay now it's opening this localhost 8000 and now let's open the register or login so it's going to open this register and login using this wheat not webpack right 
so and yes it's a bootstrap is working properly and it's loaded through this wheat right so if i go back uh, how i'm sure that it's loaded it from here so if i uh, comment this out so it's uh, this design is not going to work like uh, you did not compile these files so let's take eye on this and yes the design is dropped right so why because our compiled file is not added into this uh, into this page that's why it's dropped right so you can also add them into separately like uh, you can remove this second one and uh, let's go down here and you can add this in the uh, you can add the js file into your bottom of the script but right, i'm not going to do this i'm going to i'm going to just tell you that how you can do this okay so i'm going to tell i uh, told you that i'm going to show an error that uh, which is missing into this how to bootstrap this uh, blog so what is the error so now let's open the console here and yes it's containing uncaught let's go to click on this uncaught error require is not defined so why it's showing this because bootstrap is little bit changed so you need to uh, update your bootstrap.js file so you need to copy this stuff okay and then you need to go to your bootstrap.js file so let me go here this one is a bootstrap.js which exists in the resources directory and then it's requiring this slow dash and uh, bootstrap so this uh, wheat syntax is little bit changed so you need to replace with this one it's not going to throw an error so first you need to rebuild your files okay i'm going to npm run build and then i'm going to serve this so it will this error will be gone in a minute okay okay so now it's built successfully so let me uh, run my artisan server here artisan serve and here i'm going to refresh this out so now this error will be gone so let me go here okay it's uh, refreshed our web page and there is no error so it means that we successfully fixed this uh, bootstrap js error so in this video we learned that uh, how we can uh, compile our assets using wheat so if you don't know how to compile your asset into the spas like vue.js nux.js react livewire jetstream and rich.js so i'm going to implement these all of the ones and if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected bye bye